always a go and now there everybody this is speedboy14 on my playthrough of super mario 64 on super mario 30 all stars for the nintendo switch if you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video i'd really really appreciate it if you're new to my channel don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out an exciting feature of the channel you can request your favorite course or your favorite star in the game in the comments below last time we fin we defeated bowser in the fire sea and also got the second key and also we did dire dire docks and this time we're gonna do snowman's land in order to get there we have to use the second key to unlock this door snowman's land what we'll have to do is we'll have to go not that way that's tiny huge island there's another door we have to go through let's talk to this toad to see what he has to say to see if he gives us a star or not he does give us a star sweet So this is the door we want to go through. Not, no. Why'd I keep guessing the wrong door? I don't know why. Oh, this is the right, this is the right one. Also, let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. What version of Super Mario 64 do you like better? Do you like the DS version better or do you like the original version better? Just let me know. I'd really love to know. Snowman's big head. Oh, I love Snowman's land. I love how there's two snow worlds in this game. There's not many games like that. So we'll go this way. What? All right, so. That was an epic fail. So what we basically got to do is... Ugh! Because we got to go this way, and then once we go this way, um... We got to, um... Of course, we have to be careful. We got to be careful. I'm just gonna go slow. Of course, this snowman will blow it away. The penguin's gonna come back over here. And then we gotta make sure we time a long jump right. Perfect! That wasn't too hard. Why? What happened? Ugh, that was kind of overkill right there. Ugh. Come on. Oh my gosh. I was almost there. I don't know what happened. Again, I bumped it.
I know when's the time. I know how to do it! I am not stupid. What is going on? The hardest part about this star is trying to make it up there. It's not necessarily difficult, it's just tedious is how it is. The tedious part is that that can happen. You can fall off real easy. That you can, thank you timed it right. You can be precise and didn't and not time it right. Like you can thank you were precise enough to time it right. And unfortunately, if you're barely off, you can still think you timed it right and you somehow never timed it right. That is what's difficult about it. Okay, let's just try again. I don't want to stick on this. I don't want to stick on this star for a full 10 minutes. Okay. I know how to, I know how to do it. I know it's not that hard. It's just, yeah. If you do it right, you're guaranteed to make it. There's no RNG involved, it's just, you just have to make sure you're doing it right. Get on top of the snowman and let's get her started. Wow, that was more intense than I thought it would be. But it wasn't that bad once I figured out what to do. Alright, snowman's land is actually a pretty easy area for the most part. Chill in the hole. This is an easy star right here. I shouldn't have too much trouble with this one. So basically what you gotta do for this one is you gotta knock this bully off. Just like that. <laughs> wow. Very, very, very simple. Wow. The first star was quite a slog, but we ended up doing the second star quicker. In the deep freeze. This one's easy. Alright. I need to use the camera to figure out how to get up in here. Okay. I really love the environment of this area. It's kind of cool looking. Oh yeah, we're still able to do the first three stars under in under 10 minutes, which is still pretty good. That's what I wanted to do. That was my goal. Goal accomplished. World from the freezing pond. Alright, this one can be a little tricky if you don't know how to do it, but if you know how to do it, it's not that bad. It's really not that hard at all. You just have to use one of these whirlwinds to make it over here, and then you have to touch that. And once you do that, there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Four stars under ten minutes. Although the first one took a while. That's awesome. Shell shredding for red coins. This one's kind of annoying, but I don't really find it difficult. It's just, it's just tedious is all it is. But if you know what you're doing, it's not that hard. Ooh, 
Red point missions in this game are nowhere near as annoying as what they are in Super Mario Sunshine, if you want to know the truth. And I will never lie to you. Where's the other red coin? Come on. I don't know where it's at. Dang it, I missed it. Was it behind this? I guess I just don't know where it's at. Where could it possibly be? I see it. It's over there. How did not I not think of that? What? Ow! Stop! How did I get over there without getting killed? I wonder how you do. How did I do that? How would I possibly do that? Because I want to start over. How do I get over there without getting killed? Because I feel like I'm going to die. No! Wow! Mario drowned! There was nothing I could do about it! And that, I only had one coin left! That was bullcrap! Okay. I don't know how I missed that. Okay. You get it right. So we'll get it. Actually, we'll get it first. And then we'll grab the shell. This won't be too hard. We can do it. Okay. Oh my. Yes! I only took two tries, which ain't too bad. Come on. Fight the star. Wow, that was easy. All right. We just have one more star left now. Into the igloo. This one. Here we go. So the secret to this one is, if you want to know the secret to this one, you're supposed to grab a, um, You're supposed to grab a It wasn't my fault. It was... So there's that path you're supposed to go up. And then once you get the shell, you're supposed to use the shell to go up that path. And that's how you get to the igloo. This has been a pretty short video so far. I know the videos for this game will be short. Because I know this game's really easy. And of course, the missions are so short. 
So short and sweet, this game is. I mean, there's some missions that are difficult at times, but... But this game is a pretty easy game overall. It's not really all that hard, for the most part. Definitely know where it... This game is a wonderful game. If you've never played it and you have a Nintendo Switch and you'd love to play it, just buy Super Mario 30 All-Stars from somewhere it's still available from. And you sure can play this game, so you can. Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy as well. Um, I don't know what, why I messed up. Uh, what's my backup if I mess up? I need a backup strat. I really do. And I feel like there is no backup. I feel like I just have to use the shell. See? It's nearly impossible if you mess up. It, you can't mess up. I'll just have to exit the course and come back. That's your only backup. Which is kind of overkill. That was kind of overkill to me. But let's try again. At least I'm glad this game is not too difficult to get through. One of the, that is one of the complaints some people might have with this game is that it's not super challenging. Of course, some of the, of course the post game stuff is if you were to do that, and of course getting 100 percent completion is. But even where to go with that, it still don't have the same level of challenge as like Super Mario Sunshine or Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'm, or or games like that. I know what I can do right here. This shouldn't be hard. This should be easy. The hard part is you have to... You have to... It's hard to slow down with this. You're just naturally going fast. But well, once you have the green shell, then the rest of this is not that hard. Now we'll just go into the eagle. There we go. It's quite a slog to make it here, but it is what it is. It wasn't really difficult. It was just, you just had to know what to do. That's all it was. I'm looking for, uh, the vanish cap, because there's a vanish cap here that we need. And once we get it, we need to use it to... We need to use it to go through the ice to get that star. That was it. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell right beside it to be notified every time my new videos come out. Have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.